And I would even think about it like this, just to tag on to what you were saying. I mean, when you think about it, a lot of the ethnic hair care products are not made for natural hair. They're made mm -hmm. for an alter an alternate state of your hair of mm -hmm. a black woman's hair. There's not many products out there on the mass market that are made for women that um are use that are actually using like, their actual hair. They're using these chemically straightened, mm -hmm. you know, products and not products. Anyway, I was talking about the hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically so basically a lot of but a lot of the Caucasian stuff unfortunately is made for natural hair because they're not really doing anything mm -hmm. to their hair. It's, it's just naturally straight. So it's made for that natural I think I would say texture almost. Mm -hmm. Whereas with African like the ethnic hair products they're made for, you know, chemically altered hair, which is not natural. So mm -hmm. I mean and they're trying to make it to where you know the bottles are like for relaxed and natural. Like how can you be? How both? can you be both? Like, I think it's a they don't get it. They never like, like we're gonna get something for some black people. Yeah, I wasn't sure how they. Uh, you can't. You that's that's a no no. You can't have something for for relaxed and natural hair. Really, they're not. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a, okay, sorry, that brings me to another point. Um, just being more knowledgeable about what goes in your hair. I think. Um, a lot of people you'll you'll notice when they go natural like you just pay attention a lot more like I can pick up a bottle or something and look at the first couple of ingredients and automatically know like how my hair is going to respond to it mm -hmm. whereas when I was relaxed I'd just be like okay whatever I'll put this Vaseline on my head or something like that like <laughs> not, not Vaseline I mean, hey. but you're a lot you're a lot more knowledgeable about what you know what goes on and what goes in your hair like I know I took somebody um, who's transitioning to Walmart and we sat in, you know, the, the hair section for about 20 minutes because I was like, okay, here I'm going to give you, you know, crash course. And I was like, this is going to be bad because I have mineral oil as the first ingredient. And I would tell her about, I know, Topaz taught me all this. <laughs> so I was like, no, you can't do mineral oil, okay. And then we would look at something else and have like petroleum. And you just pay attention a lot more and you kind of know what's good for your hair and what's not good. So, you know, I can tell like a sulfate is going to draw my hair out, like different things like that. Whereas when you're, not, when you're relaxed, most times you just be like, okay, whatever, I'm going to buy it because it has a black lady on it. Mm -hmm. Not to say that people that are relaxed are dumb, that's definitely not what I'm saying. Right, but, not at all. But a lot of times you just feel that because the way things are marketed, that if it has a black person on it, then it's automatically going to be fine for your hair without really paying attention to what it is that's going on top of your hair. Right. And it's just, I, I would say even another reason to go natural is heightened awareness. Mm -hmm. I think when you go natural, because you have to do so much research, a lot of things just, it's kind of like a domino effect. You end up, like, you, you end up just, you first begin trying to just figure, okay, what the heck can I do for my hair? And then yeah. you end up, in, like kind of like snowball effect, you start learning about different products to use, and you find out learning about different herbs, and you find, and it just, and it's just a really holistic education, and it's mm -hmm. really, it's really enlightening. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. And not to say that natural hair is to get like a guy or anything, but like I get way more attention now mm -hmm. since my hair is puffy. You are so, I was just talking about that today. It's like when you walk in a room with a dude, the first thing they know is that you have to be confident. Like exactly. you were saying, like, you don't have anything to hide behind. And so when I walk in a room, I have to hold my head up high because I know it's 50,000 other little straight, relaxed and natural. Mm -hmm. Well, not, not relaxed. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like I get more attention because that, for that. So, you mm -hmm. know, and it's kind of nice. No. I, had, I had a guy uh, the other day um, at, when I was at school and he was just like, you know, Jamika, you, you just better go natural. You just, because like, I, I was, I think I was putting some shea butter on my hair and I was talking about how like I make my own hair products and stuff. And he was just like, I just think that is like really like sexy when yes. a woman goes natural because it really does take confidence, you know, to be, you're, you're more of an individual. You. Yeah. yeah. To just rock, rock natural hair rather than just, you know, conform and just be straight all the time and have a relaxer. Yeah. Indeed. And I'm saying you, it's just like you coming back to yourself. It, I mean, it's something really beautiful about going natural. I really can't even explain yeah. it to you uh, or America. <laughs> I, really, I, can, I really can't even explain the feeling, but when you learn to accept yourself and, and look at yourself like, you know what, I don't care. Like, okay, I got a pimple. My hair may not be, you know, mm -hmm. straight. You know, it may not be looking like everybody's, but this is me and I mm -hmm. love it. Like, I tell people all the time, like, I love my hair. Like, yeah. I love the way that I can just do stuff to it and it just comes out looking mm -hmm. beautiful and different. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's just a feeling that you get when you kind of break out of that 
out of I guess out of that norm, that social norm is just something really mm -hmm. beautiful about it. And just, just beautiful. Like <laughs> and it's funny that we keep saying going natural, like why is it going natural? This is who we are. We should just say going you. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. just going start going you. you. Going you. Just doing you. How you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. Go on. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. Put that on the shirt. Mm -hmm. Buy them. Yeah. <laughs> I will be. I will be. Mm -hmm. Buy them. <laughs> All right. We got anything else? Okay. We might make this a continuation. We're gonna come up with some more stuff. But I think this is a good start. Mm -hmm. This is good. I think we should invite guys into the conversation. We should. Yeah. Yeah. We should invite people. Okay. So, hey. All right. We're gonna get some guys.